Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden, and you're not. Welcome to the Geek Group, where I'm here today with freaking Dan Eakin. Maglinman. Maglinman. <laughs> and today we're talking about the Small Pyramid Dash NI kit. So I'm guessing this is the nickel plated one. Yes. And what you get in the box is this you get four big balls, one little ball, three little magnets, and half a dozen big ones. Now, this is what you need to know. When you're getting into the sculpture kits, the magnets will have a tendency to self-assemble. And this is a good thing because what it does is it lets you know which way all the magnets want to be. So which one is north and which end is south because all the norths are pointing one way and all the souths are pointing the other. If you try mm -hmm. to put this together backwards, it's going to fight, right? Cool. Do you know like how to come up much. with north and south on a magnet? I assume like it has something to do with a compass. It does. If you, if you take like two of these and just hang them from a thread, like, if you happen to have a thread. Like <laughs> Looks this like you one. just happen to have a thread. Looks like right, it has magnets right on it here already. With, with a couple magnets on it already. Here, we gotta, we gotta move these because I wanna take a minute and show people where north and south comes from. If you take and just hang a string like that, okay? And you take two, these are a pair of the one inch by a quarter inch diameter magnets. Mm -hmm. And you put the magnet between them and you just let go. Now, provided you know which way is north, you can assume. You, you, can, you can work it out. Like, we know for us that way is north, but there's so many magnets on a table, right. this is going to mess with it like <laughs> crazy. But here, we'll fake it by there. All right. <laughs> but if, if you take there, that's, that's our, our fake compass. You, you can't see that. It's under my hand. It doesn't exist. <laughs> but oh, I'm, I'm missing oh, my, very many my ways. mark here. We'll, we'll move that up there. All right. But if you take and hang a couple magnets like this, and you can do this at home if you want to figure out which end is north on all your magnets, make a compass just from a string and a couple of the small two magnets, which you can get in the, the small pyramid kit. Um, if you hang it like that, whichever end points north, that is the north pole of those magnets. Makes sense. That's, that's where it comes from. So it isn't like north points south. North pole of a magnet points north. Cool. So what's really funny though right now it's pointing pretty much due east and west <laughs> because of all the magnets we have sitting around down here. But that's how it works. So that's that's your north and south poles. And I'll stick this back up here a little so it's hole. out of our way. All right. That's that's just my handy whenever I need a compass. I sure. Keep that right there in case I get lost on set. <laughs> so Such a big set. You can self-assemble these like that. And now you know that all north are one way, all south are the other way, but now you know which end is which. It doesn't matter which is north or which is south, it matters that they all point the same direction. Sure. So when you're building your little pyramid, here is the fundamentals that you need to know for all the magnet videos from, from here on out. This is, this is how it works. Make a ball chain. Start by just making a chain like that, and then put a ball in between each magnet with them all pointing in the same direction like that, because once you figure out which end is which, it's really easy to self-assemble a chain. Okay? So there's a chain. I've got a couple of magnets left over. I'm just going to set those aside. But there's your chain. Sure. Now you know in doing this, okay, we're making a pyramid. Right. So we know that that one goes on there, and we can take it over there. And now each of these magnets has one north and one south at each ball. Right? Right. That means that the combined magnetic energy on the ball is balanced. Because this will stick with two norths or two souths. Sure. It'll stick. But if it's one north and one south, then this ball is neutral. If these are both have two norths to it, this ball will have a very high north bias. Okay. So now you take your other set. Because each of these are balanced, you know these all point the same direction. So we just, st the way I do it is I just hold it like a pencil, stick one on. And now you know you're still, like, let's say that's the south end of that magnet. Sure. This, because there's an odd number of magnets on the ball, this ball will have a slight southerly bias. Sure. So I can take the next one. Now that one's going to be south as well. Right. So I can take this one, and I know I'll want north. Because there's going to be three going to this top ball no matter what. Right, yeah. But you don't want them all to be the same. So these two will stick together, and that one will really jump in. See, these two aren't nearly as attracted to their as it is when that one comes in, which is like, pow. So now you've made a pyramid. And you've got three other little magnets, so you could do stuff like make a smaller pyramid. You could take off. I think they want to make it inside of that, actually. You think? I think so. Oh, OK. They're going to do a center. Yeah, I think we could push that up in there. Well, no, you need a fourth like length. No, 
that oh, looks oh, pretty no, cool. That, that does look I'm, pretty I'm cool. Yeah. That. That one, nine and one. you probably wouldn't work with a fourth. It wouldn't be able to, to reach quite properly. But there, there's your small pyramid kit from Amazing Magnets. It's quite awesome. It's really, I, I like that. It's your one magnet's not seated all the way. Huh? The one magnet in the a far side. Off. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can push that up. Yeah. There, it looks It's happy now. Okay, that's better. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, that is your small pyramid kit. You can get them at AmazingMagnets.com. You can actually get them right, right there. That's the link. Right That's there. the spot to get them. So, yeah, you guys have fun. Keep playing with magnets, and we'll see you next time. Bye. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.